welcome to another video king kobe here now in this video we are going to look at how to do a keyboard scratch in virtual dj to do a keyboard scratch in virtual dj you will have to first do your mapping and then there's a little tweak that i would want to um, show you so just stay with me let's begin so first of all let's look at the mapping so i used um, b and then m for my scratch so for m it's scratch plus 120 ms which means that it's gonna move um 120 milliseconds forward and then for b is scratch 120 milliseconds backwards okay so that's minus okay you can increase it if you want it so i can put it at 150 okay let me put the M at 150. Let's see how it's going to sound. And then I'll save. And we'll look at, we'll test it out. So I like it this way. This nice anyway. This is my first time trying the 150 MS. So after you have done your mappings, you just save it and then you are good to go. Okay, as to how I combine it with playing, it just it's just a few settings. You know, I combine it with my my Q stop button I've configured the uh, space bar for Q stop so you scratch and then you press the space bar it gives you that thing so so it depends on your creativity as well so just set your parameters and then get creative with it so I said I'm going to show you some few tweaks okay so you go to options and then you just search for scratch here okay so here you will have to do certain things so for smart scratch it will only um scratch the forward uh moves or the, the forward spins so if you read at the bottom it says that what automatically mutes the volume when scratching backwards right so you sure you, you have to make sure you have that at no and then you come here you look at the pitch quality so for the algorithm zero means you have the fastest you know scratch one means just a good scratch two means a good scratch and a good master tempo and then three is also best quality but will require a fast cpu actually so depending on what you want you just tweak it i have mine at two and then the scratch filter quality for scratch quality the bigger the value the better i used to have it at 10 i just changed it to 20 so i'll just put it at 10 anyway and then I'll just close for here. There is no save button. You just have to close it and it will save. And let's see. Okay, I think I still like it this way. But as I said, if you want to tweak it, then you can tweak it. So after I'm done, that is it. I've set my parameters for my scratching and I can now scratch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so the name is still King Kobe and I'll come your way with another video till we meet again. Stay safe, eat well and make the best out of every day.